Hey, welcome this morning. We're at Luke chapter 12 today, verses 16 to 21. And let's read this teaching of Jesus. He's just been having an issue with a guy about coveting, and he gives this story now. Then he, Jesus, spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build greater, that in there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then whose will those things be which you have provided? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. So here's the guy. He's got all the stuff. He's very rich. He gets a big crop in, a giant crop. He can't really contain it all. What's he going to do? It doesn't even cross his mind. I'm going to give some of this to the poor. I'm going to give some of this to people in need. Instead, he's going to build himself bigger barns, and he's going to just fill them up, and he's going to say, look, I'm going to eat, drink, and be merry. I'm good to go. I'm just, I'm good to go. Guess what? You know what? Life doesn't go on endlessly. There's a day in which you will be judged, a day in which you come up against your maker, a day in which it will be seen whether you added goodness to the world or whether you were just hoarding it all to yourself. And you know, the, there's such a materialist look out in our world today. You get behind a vehicle and it's a all premiumed out vehicle and it's got a little sticker on the back that says, he who dies with the most toys wins. Well, guess what? This is the answer to that, isn't it? If you die with the most stuff stored up, you lose. Because if you're, if you're, not, if you're a covetous person and you're, you're not in the kingdom, you're not, you're not trusting in God, you lose. You lose eternity. So yeah, you've got a, all this stuff in your barn, but it's all going to burn anyway. Friend, there's a warning here for us. Let's not be the one who dies with a the biggest and best stuff. Let's be the person who gives to others. Let's be the person who's like Jesus, who helps those in need and shares with others. So it's okay to have some stuff, but it's wrong to covet it. It's wrong to place all your values there, and it's all about me. That's what's wrong. Jesus warns us, may, may he help us not to land in that place where the devil wants us to land, surrounded by stuff, but spiritually ready for destruction. Oh, may God help us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our prayers today as we come to you, noticing the story that Jesus had about the guy with bigger barns. Oh, Lord, we look to you. We want to be right. Please help our hearts to be right. Help us, if you give us abundance, help us to share some of that abundance with others, especially others in need. May we not become centered on the material things, but instead, Lord, may we be centered in doing your will. This we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the Lord of heaven and earth be with you today and bless you in all that you do.